Hello, welcome to the video with recipe for mashed potatoes and peas with cabbage. We're gonna use this recipe that I learned in Poland and it's a very simple recipe. You don't need many ingredients, especially not ingredients that are hard to get or you can get only on Amazon. It's gonna be very simple and very healthy and yet still it's, I'm trying to make it really delicious. For this recipe we'll need just potatoes, cabbage, peas and some onions, garlic. I'm also gonna use some of the some roasted sunflower seeds to top it on the end and some chives but it's not really necessary you can really enjoy this dish with a few simple ingredients I'm gonna also uh, spice it up with some salt and pepper but nothing too crazy I hope you will enjoy the recipe and let's get to it okay let's go through the ingredients list I'm gonna start with uh, frozen peas that I used it's 300 grams Potatoes, I used around 500 grams, I would say. Then, of course, the cabbage, it's about 350 grams. A big garlic clove that I got and some onion. And for garnish, I'm gonna roast sunflower seeds. And I also got some beautiful chives already waiting for the garnish on top at the end of the recipe. Okay, first we let's start with peeling the potatoes. Oh, and there they are. And now they are already in a pot and now they will go boil for around 20 minutes and we will check on them if they are soft. So while we are waiting for the potatoes, we're gonna chop the garlic and the onion. Okay, now let's take care of the cabbage. We got some outer leaves that could be removed. This looks a bit old already. I'm gonna also remove it. Just a thin layer and that goes away. This kind of cabbage in Germany is called Spitzkohl and literally translated it means pointed cabbage. Well, I just call it cabbage and I'm gonna also chop it. So now we have the ingredients ready, let's start cooking. So let's start frying with water. I'm gonna add a splash of water. Put the maximum uh, heat on the, on the pan. And my potatoes are also cooking now. I'm gonna decrease a little bit the heat on them. And now we're gonna put our full attention to the pan. Okay, first I'm gonna add some onions and garlic. I'm gonna stay with it. In case it's kind of doesn't have enough water it's gonna be quite fast okay so now we already see that the water is evaporated and it's starting to stick moment where you gonna I'm gonna add some more water so there's just a thin layer and that's exactly what we want to do that's it's bubbles it means it's releasing the the parts that were kind of burnt and that's very good we want the flavor to be released from the pan and we want it in the dish We can see some brown parts already. It's going really quick. And that's frying without oil. Looking good. I'm gonna add some more water now. Release what's sticking to the pan. I'm already satisfied with the amount of roast um paste i would say i'm gonna add the cabbage Ooh, big piece i'm gonna chop it up so now i'm gonna reduce the heat add some more water if you want to be fancy you can of course add some uh, vegetable broth 
but I'm going really simple. Usually vegetable broth have some oil in them or some fat, which is not bad, of course, because the amounts are little, but just for, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do it really oil free. I'm gonna add a generous pinch of salt here. So the cabbage will also remove, release some of the water. Nothing sticking, sticking on bottom now. Very nice, just like it should be. I'm gonna reduce the heat to three out of nine. And I'm just gonna let it simmer like this for 10-15 minutes so the cabbage gets soft. And now we are waiting for the potatoes to get boiled. Okay, I'm also gonna add some pepper, stir it a little bit. So I'm also gonna add a little bit of lemon juice, not too much, just to give it a little bit of sour taste. It's always good. It gives this recipe kind of like this sour taste that uh, gives this special thing that is needed to for this recipe to kind of pop. And to even it out, I'm gonna also add a teaspoon of brown sugar just so the recipe it's uh, not gonna feel too sour and the cabbage always likes kind of this sour taste it really fits it well and the sweetness is to even it out so always when a recipe kind of needs this kind of needs something and you don't know what it is it's usually you can fix that by adding a little bit of sweetener and a little bit of sourness my go-to product is usually some lemon juice and for, for example agave syrup or some brown sugar so while this is still on the pan i'm gonna check the potatoes and they seem already i think they're already on the oven like 20 minutes they should be almost done i'm gonna drop in the peas in order to also get them ready for smashing them up for blending them up and let's do that now okay let it let's should boil for 10 more minutes so the cabbage is already nice and soft i'm gonna transfer it to a bowl for later we're gonna roast our sunflower seeds put them on the pan make sure it's dry and put to the maximal heat and we're just gonna shake it yeah they're getting a nice brown color that's it the potatoes are also done i'm gonna drain them now and i'm gonna start uh, blending them okay and they go back into the pot i'm gonna add teaspoon of salt, crack some pepper and now I'm gonna blend it up taste it, make sure it's to your liking I like it really salty I'm gonna add half a teaspoon more now we're gonna add more or less two thirds of the cabbage, stir it in, and now it's gonna really look like a gooey gooey monster, and that's fine. Here our sunflower seeds got really nicely roasted, it's perfect. Okay, let's get to the last part, let's try to make this green monster look nice on the plate. So I'm gonna add some nice heap of it let's 
add some of the extra cabbage, some of the roasted sunflower seeds, and the chives. The chives are looking really nice, I think. And maybe if someone likes some more, some more lemon. And our monster doesn't look like a monster, it looks like a dish, perfect. That's what we wanted to create. Let's give it a closer look. And now it really looks like a proper dish. Well, definitely before and after, there's a big difference. Okay, can't wait to dig into it. I hope you enjoy the recipe. So that's it. I really hope you liked the video and the recipe. If you're ever gonna try it, please let me know in the comments if you liked it and if it worked out for you. I'm really um, happy with the recipe. I just ate it and it was really delicious. The sunflower seeds on top gave it a really nice crunch and the lemon taste was really, really well suited for this dish. Uh, it was nourishing, it was, it made me really full. I just loved it. So this recipe I would recommend for at least two people and maybe if you could even squeeze it for four, but I would suggest to do it for two because it's really delicious and you can eat a lot. Okay, that's it for this video. See you in the next and have a nice day.